Hello and welcome to Once More With Feeling, Chaos Over Cosmos, the debut EP from online project Chaos Over Cosmos. Now this was the second review request I received from Joshua Ratcliffe for his own project and this, this was quite a surprise and definitely a pleasant one because August is a tough month for me and I needed sort of, one I needed to find out that people had faith in me along these lines and two the more music that I get the better I, I will never turn down more music especially if it's as good as this um, I had a listen through I, I was even more hyped to cover Chaos Over Cosmos um, now what's intriguing about this EP and really goes to show how useful and important the internet is is the fact that neither person involved in the project has actually met. I found that fascinating for a couple of reasons. One, the EP doesn't sound like it was made by people who've never interacted. It sounds like people who've been in the recording studio, they've worked together for years. It really felt like this was a project of love and close friendship, and I'm sure that is the case, but you didn't feel like there was any sort of distance. Um, the two people involved, you've got Joshua Ratcliffe who is on vocals and did the lyrics and songwriting, and you've got and you've got Raphael Bowman who is on guitars, programming and songwriting. And I definitely want to hear more of what you two have in store for us because this is a duo that works really nicely together. Um, again, we're going to have a shorter review because there's three tracks on the album. They're quite long ones, but I feel that they're interwoven very nicely. They tell a story that it's like a three-act structure that really works well. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but this is the impression that I got when listening to it. So, so you open with Cascading Darkness. Now that opens with a big sweeping synth feel, very prog metally, and it drives and underlays, reinforces the guitar work, which is very skillful. But also, then this is an important thing. It's all very well being skillful with guitar work, but you also feel the passion. You feel like this is a guy who loves to play guitar, and it really helps to weave this very interstellar, galactic feeling sound. Like, the imagery I got from listening to Cascading Darkness was a vast, epic space battle. You know, you, you kind of, if you imagine a sort of Star Wars-esque type scenario, you've got the evil empire and you've got the rebels fighting. Um, but in this case, it's almost like the it gave the impression, probably because of the very harsh vocals, that the Empire wins in this case. The reason I get that impression is the way the music progresses, the way the drum beat reinforces, and you've got the various blast beats, and it's almost like you've got this galactic fight that's getting ever more desperate for the good guys from there you've got consumed and that almost feels like part two of the story where the survivors are fighting back and how that progresses it sort of you've almost got this question answer or good guy bad guy interaction with clean vocals and harsh vocals you've 
got this whole idea that the surviving rebels, they've been consumed by the cascading darkness and they're fighting their way out and they're gradually finding a more defiant and resolute reaction emphasized by so as the drum beats go it's almost like each one of them is a different paragraph of the chapter as it goes forth you get more of the sort of vangelis feel um at the if you think sort of along the lines of at the end of blade runner where it feels wistful but at the same time hopeful and you definitely get the feel of the interactions between influences. There's also, I did get a bit of a feel, whether this is intentional or not, I did get a bit of a feel for some of Devin Townsend's work. So anyone who knows me will know I'm all over that. Like, you put me, you put any sort of thing that reminds me of Devin Townsend and I'm just going to be sort of like, yep. Yeah, give it to me. And the way it ends flows very nicely into the last track, Asimov, and this is where the Vangelis sound and the Depeche Mode sound, so all the more electronica sort of driven effects really come to the forefront, which is appropriate for Asimov. I say that, but do robots dream of electric sheep was, was Philip K. Dick, but they were all in the same oeuvre. Um, but yeah, Asimov, that's an instrumental and it feels very triumphant. You feel like whilst there's, sort of, it's almost a Logan's run to kind of running away from all the oppressive natures of the society that they've been consumed by. And, and as it goes along, you kind of feel like you're getting this feel of them running away to safety and they're getting to where they'd be able to live their lives. As I say, it's a much more synth-driven track, but also the interaction between the synths and the guitars really nicely blends and I, I have to say this is kind of a perfect way to end the EP. It gives a close to the story and it gives you an idea of what could happen with future stories. Overall, I've got to say this, I'm going to give this EP a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed it, I'm looking forward to listening to it more in the future, and I greatly look forward to what you guys have in store for me next. That's it for this episode. I was wholly consumed.